You know, say it's here, and 45 days ago, Harveyville, Kansas, got hit by a very similar setup to what we have for tomorrow. And say, Ed, uh, you went out there today. Uh, what did you experience? Well, Gary, that storm de devastated about 60% of that small town. Houses, barns, churches are all gone. They've been working hard to rebuild, and tonight they're hoping that this new system doesn't make them start all over. Looking down Main Street in Harveyville, Kansas, it's easy to see there's a lot missing. You come right down through here and took out these three homes here. Six weeks ago, the town of 250 was hit by a tornado. And went across the street, and that's where Mr. Slade was killed there. For 77-year-old Earl Cop, Harveyville has always been his home. I was born in a little house down here in the corner. And for the last 33 years, this is where he lived. His 100-year-old house destroyed the night of the tornado, and today this is all that's left. If I'd been still been in bed, I'd been covered with all kinds of stuff. The homes and lawns are now vacant lots, separated only by poster boards with spray-painted address numbers. And the neighbors that I see right here all the time, gone. For the last month and a half, the cleanup has been agonizing. Everything we do just seems like there's no end to it. A pile of memories right off Main Street sits as a painful reminder of how quickly they can be destroyed. In a split second, it was done. And this is going to take us weeks, months to even get halfway back to normal. It'll never be back to normal. But... Do the best you can. The town's struggle is about to get worse as life threatening storms are expected this weekend. We just pray and hope that nothing does happen to anybody. We don't need it. Now, that tornado touched down at about 9 p.m., and at that time, Harveyville was not under a tornado warning. But there is some new warning systems coming out. Gary has all the details on that. That's right. It's all about in the wording. That was an interesting night. There was a tornado warning earlier, and as that storm got close to Harveyville, it looked like it was weakening, but then it produced the tornado. The new warning system has these new wordings to it. That's going to, for example, you may see a statement that says a tornado, this tornado will cause mass destruction or devastation, complete destruction, not survivable. These are the experimental terms that the National Weather Service is going to start using depending on the severity of the situation. Hopefully we won't have any warnings like that. Thank you, Sayed, and we'll be back with our forecast guys here in just a few minutes.